been a panic at least. Let's bow in. Left hand and right fist. And bow. Um, I've got two or three people I know I could rely on in the class tonight to do this well. But tonight, I'm going to ask Leighton to do the warm up for us, please. Right. Just jogging this part. It's really easy at first. We're just going to kind of get our temperature warmed up a bit. Okay, here's the bump. While you're doing that, can everyone give me a thumbs up to make sure you can hear me okay, yeah? Cool, thank you. Uh, high knees. And star jumps. And back to jogging on the spot. Gonna do fast feet. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to jogging. Okay, climb the ladder. And punch out front and jogging. And punch the sides. And back to jogging. Just go top side. We'll do 10 press ups, 10 sit ups, 10 squats. Go. When you're done, back to jogging. Okay, let's do that, turn it back. Side to side. One behind the other. And then out. Front and back again, this time a wee bit faster. Side to side. One back in the other, crisscross. And in and out. Okay, back to jogger. What we're going to do is we're going to do some leg swings just to warm up the hips. So knee up, leg up, but try and bounce. So it's bounce, 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 bounce. Not like a can can girl, really. That's it. Just get that hip warmed up. Just sticking to one leg at the moment. A little dragon there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, knee up, same side, and to the side. So I'll stand here a bit. So we're just warming up. Hips up, okay. Okay, other leg. Knee, leg. Just bouncing it. 
don't strain it too much at first. It's just a warm up. And as before, knee to the front, knee to the side. Okay, if you could give me 10 press ups, 10 sit ups, and 10 squats again. Now get your back straight for the squats and do a good range of motion. Okay, and back to jogging when you're done. Right, I'm going to slow things down a little bit. Just uh, loosen the body up for training. So small circles with the head, gradually getting wider. Should all be relatively warm now. And reverse it. Look over your left shoulder with the chin on the chest. And other side. And other side. Big circles of hands. Reverse it. Just another 30 seconds of this, then we're done. One one way, one the other. Okay, and then circle your hips. Again, try and do a wide range of motion so you're feeling that a wee bit in the hamstrings at the back. And this time, knees. One way and then reverse it the other way. And then last of all, wrists and ankles, just be circles. <laughs> Hi guys, you grab a drink. Thank you. Thanks, Leon. Well done. Give him a big clap. Good work, buddy. <laughs> Okay, get your gloves on, please, guys. Right. Just a little movement drill, a little punch and movement drill combos that we're going to Build upon a little pyramid we're going to do it for about three, three minutes or so. We're going to work our legs as well as a puncher. So, so what we're going to do, guys, from a left hand stance, we're going to build up a combo. And what you're going to do eventually is just do this yourself without me, without me telling you what to do. So, the drill is going to be to shuffle forward, one, two, jab, reverse, shuffle out, okay? We're going to add a punch on each time. So let's do it together nice and slow before we start the three minutes. So in, one, two, out, in, one, two, hook, one, two, three, back in, one, two, three, two. Back in. In. One, two, three, two, five. Back out. 
But I can. One, two, three, two, five, two. Sorry, my apologies. Five, three. Back out. Last one. One, two, three, two, five, three, two. Let's go through that again. In. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two, five. One, two, three, two, five, three. One, two, three, two, five, three, two. And we're back. So we're going to start the timer. We're going to shout it out for the first two or three. And then you're just going to move. With it, okay? Oh, I put my glasses on my face first. Right, guys, in one, two, back out, in one, two, three, back out, in one, two, three, two, back out, back in one, two, three, two, five, back out, in one, two, three, two, five, three. Back out. One, two, all shuffle, double shuffle in. One, two, three, two, five, three, two. And out. We're back to the start. And one, two. One, two, three. And one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two, five. And one, two, three, two, five, three. Again, one, two, three, two, five, three, two. Back out. You can switch stance if you want. You don't have to stay this stance. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. <laughs> five. One, two, three, two, five, three. One, two, three, two, five, three, two. All right, keep it going, guys. Keep going. Back to start. One, two. Just keep moving, guys. Keep it going. One, two, three. Almost there. 30 seconds to go. Almost there, guys. Five seconds, give it your last. Go on. Good work. Time. Good. Hopefully, that's got your cardio levels up, your arms warmed up nicely. Super work. Grab a drink. Woo. Right. I'm going to do a couple little movement drills, guys. Um, Nothing fantastic. We've done one of them before, at least. I know we definitely have. The other one we've probably done before with you guys, but uh, it might have been something that I've done in a kid's class and I've, I've got mixed up. I'm done it with you, but it's pretty straightforward. So, what I would like for you to do is have an object on the floor. 
I'm just going to use my gloves. And the idea behind this is just a little bit of movement and getting used to peeling off, making sure that when we move back, we don't go back in a straight line and stay back in a straight line. So we want to get used to being able to automatically go back two steps, then peel. So one or two steps and then peel. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be left fighting stance. You're going to come in. I just want you to go do a, do a little sort of shadow box for three or four combos. And then we're going to move back. But you're going to peel off to the side and you're going to reset on the right side of the object that you're using. If you're not using an object, I don't think you necessarily have to, but you get the point. We want to peel off and we don't want to be where we were. We want to be a mat away. Makes sense. When we're on this side, you can stay the same stance, come in, boom, 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 move back, and then peel off to this side, or you can switch stance. Okay, so just let's do two or three together. We're going to move in, boom, 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 move back, and move off to the side. Now we've gone off, off the line we were on. We're going to move in, boom, boom, boom. We're going to move back, and we can move off to this side. We reset, so we're going to move in. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Move back and off to the side. Two steps, no more than two steps back. Okay, I might change stance this time. So this time we're going to move in. Bam, 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 bam. Move back and peel it off to this side. Cool. Got it. Dead easy. It's not difficult. Just going to be moving in. A couple of punches, but as we, peel, as we move back, we peel off. So we're not going back in a straight line. Let's go. Excuse me. Carry on. Off you go. Two minutes on the clock. Just going to watch you. And I'm going to join. I'm just going to check everybody's stepping offline. I'm sure you are. Let's go. Nice line. Right. Let me have a look. Good. Nice little head rolls going on there, Callum. Good work. Guards up nicely. Super. Keep it going. Move back, move off to the side. Good, Paula, that's it. Good. Always retreat, always move back with your guard high and cover it. All right, don't move backwards with your hands low. Good. Just in, couple of punches, couple of, maybe a kick, exit, move off line. Sam, that's lovely. Good work. Good. Nice dress. So, Ronnie, good. Boom, boom, boom. Move back, off line. Good. Try and keep that offline smooth. We want to move offline smoothly. We don't go back and then jink, okay? Move back, sidestep, come back, and move. So what we're still bouncing and moving. Try not to, if you, if you stop and change direction, you'll stop for a second. There's a bit where we move back, and then we have to go to zero before we, before we change direction. But if you can smooth it, then you're never slowing down. You're always moving. So try not to go back and then immediately right angles, okay? 30 seconds to go, guys. Keep it going. You're doing real good. Good work, guys. Looking good. Right, guys. Time. Super. That was the first movement I wanted to do tonight. Just wanted to make sure that. We weren't forgetting, because we're working in small areas, I don't want us to forget that as we retreat, we change and we want to find a different angle. Move off line. Have a drink, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. All 
Okay, we're going to do some pad drills. Take gloves back on. I was going to do the other movement drill, but I think we'll save it for the end. It's a drill we've done before, so it'll be a nice little refresher at the end. Super. Right. We've got four drills on the board here, three light con drills, one points fighting drill. We'll do the points fighting drill last. So, first drill. Left fighting stance. Just go through it twice, then we'll kind of do, a, do it for a count of 10, 10, well, 10 reps, and then we'll switch sides and we'll do the opposite side. So, we're gonna go with a lead leg front kick, jab, reverse. Now what you're going to do here is we're going to do a step pivot with a duck. So we're going to step pivot to the outside, which means our lead leg is going to step to our left. We're going to duck and we're going to pivot 90 degrees. Okay, so what I want you to imagine is happening there is that somebody's swinging for you. And what you're doing is you're going underneath that big hook and you're going to come up out with in a pivot with a hook, reverse, sorry, yeah, hook, reverse, round house kick. So let's go through that again. Lead leg front kick, jab, reverse. Lead leg steps to the outside, we duck and we're going to pivot 90 degrees into a hook, reverse, Right house kick. Once more, we'll do it that third time, then we'll just do it slow. Here we go. So, front kick, jab, reverse. Step and go underneath that hook punch, pivot into the hook, reverse, round kick. Here we go. One. Kick, jab, reverse, under, hook, reverse, round kick. Reset, back to the start. Two, front kick, jab, reverse. Step, pivot, hook, reverse, round pass. Reset. Three, front kick, jab, reverse. Step, pivot, hook, reverse, round pass. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Change stance. Oh. Here's, the, here's the difficult bit. Switch and see. Here we go. Okay. Front kick. Jab reverse. Step. Hook. Reverse. Round house. Here we go. Okay. One. Reset. Two. Three. Four. Six. Six. 
seven. Eight. Nine. Super, good one, grab a drink. Right, good, first one down. And the most complicated out of all of them. No water, okay. Right, what I should have said at the start is that all of these drills are pretty much hovering around the orange belt syllabus. There's some yellow. Um, don't know if there's any green in here. Might be, might be a bit green, but pretty much the bulk of everything is orange belt. Okay, so if you're a yellow belt, these drills are suiting you for your next grading because we're practicing ducks, um, pivots, hooks, and all that kind of stuff. Right, next drill, double forearm block. So what I want you to do is to imagine somebody's thrown in a big roundhouse kit. There are several ways to do a double forearm block. Arms here, so basically, in a love heart position, right here. Gloves towards you, palms towards you, palms away from you. I don't like that one so much. I prefer edge on, but my new favorite is one here and one forward. So that he does a big kick when I block, I've got one, one parry in and one cover in. Quite liking that. I've been practicing. I was practicing that before we uh, all had to go home. So this, we're going to do a double forearm block, catching that kick. From there, you're going to come in with a reverse hook, reverse roundhouse. Okay. Now I'll leave it to you whether you want to do a rear leg or a lead leg roundhouse. It's up to you. Cool. So let's go with that one again. So. Imagine that kick comes in, double forearm block, reverse hook, reverse roundhouse. All right, here we go. One block, reverse hook, reverse roundhouse. Two, boom, reverse hook, reverse roundhouse. Three. Four, kick, and remember, exit, get back, get out of, the, out of the area. Five, six, I'm trying to come forward with each of my punches as well. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Change stands up. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Ka, 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 ka. 
Uh, back out, excellent, good. Grab a drink if you need it. Woo. Second drill done. Third drill. From the left foot in stands. We're going to move forward with a job, double jabs. We're going to come in, one, two, keeping this guard hand tight, guys. Don't let it drop. Often, hand drops when you move in. Keep that guard tight. One, two, from here, we're going to roll to our inside, which means here, we're actually going to roll to the outside, come through on the inside. Make sense? Double jab. Roll, come under. I'm out of that with a big reverse hook, reverse side kick. Double jab. To the, to the outside, roll to the inside, come out with a reverse hook, reverse side kick. Here we go. Woo. One. Jab, jab, roll, reverse hook, reverse. Any kick we do, if you want to do a real leg round or a lead leg round, you can, but I'm just doing this for the side, guys, just to keep it changing up. Two. Three. Turn the wrong way there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on, Woo. Ah. Ah. All right, last drill. Point spine drill. I'm going to grab the last out of my water bottle. Excuse me a sec. Right. The line on the mat, so you can. Then we go offline. So the line is here. I'm standing on the mat line. 
and I'm going to go one, two, let's back fist reverse, or I'm going to double sweep step where it's just my feet, listen, drum backwards, but the toes kind of drag, they don't really leave the floor very much. Yeah, and then boom, boom, we come forward. Sweep step works better going backwards to the outside. You can sweep step forwards, boom, boom, but it doesn't, doesn't feel as good for me. I prefer, whenever I sweep step, I tend to almost always go to, to my outside. So sweep step, you can either go one, two, blitz, coming forward, or you can double it. It's up to you. So let's just do a practice one. So bouncing, points, fighting stands, sweep step, back fist reverse. Here we go. Bounce the movement. Yard up. One. Two. Guys, I made the same mistake the first rep. What I'm going to ask you to do is sweep step, blitz, come back, and then return back by shuffling back to your position. Don't turn your back and walk back. Okay? Here we go. And then the first rep as well. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> nice work, guys. All right, drills over. Gloves off, have a drink. We're not going to do that last movement drill. We're pretty much out of time. So we'll just stretch off and find yourselves a little space. Ah. Oh, man. Reach it up. Good, arm down the back, scratch your back. Encourage the tricep in, stretch off the triceps, stay off the joint, please. Big deep breaths. Switch arms. Excellent, good stuff guys. Breathe out, and then arm across the body, take the arm across, twist a little bit, just pull the elbow, pull, sorry, pull the arm so you're stretching the shoulder, look in the opposite direction, stay off the elbow joint though. 
and relax. Other side, rotate, feel the pull on the outside of the shoulder. Big deep breaths. Reach it up and lean out. Breathe deep. I'm going to come out of it this way today. Nice and slow. I'm going to go the opposite. And come up. And forward bend. Nice straight back. Legs straight, but knees soft. Don't hyperextend your knees back. Breathe through that, go to your depth. Hands to knees, hands to shins, hands to ankles, hands to floor. Whatever is your stretch, just hold that. Deep breaths. Feel that softening, feel the muscles relaxing into it. And bend your knees, come up. We're going to miss out the insides of the legs tonight because we're running over a little bit. So we'll go straight to the quads and the calves. So heel to bum. Remember, if you want to stretch anything after class, now's the time to do it. Don't think you'll do it in 10 minutes. Say goodbye, then go do your stretches now. Even if it's only two, three minutes. There's bound to be something on, on your body that needs stretch that might be a little tight or or whatever, just you just everybody's a little bit different, so know your body and know what you need to stretch. Switch your legs, <clears throat> all that jumping around has eased my back off. Probably pay for it later, so that's what guess what. I'm going to go and stretch just now. I'm going to try and stretch my low back out a little bit after class. Good, calf, so heel down into the floor, push the heel down. Big deep breaths. Good work, guys. That was a good class tonight, you worked hard. Switch the legs, other side. Thank you, Elaine, for doing the warm up. Like a wee lottery, it's like a, who's going to win the lottery next? Only this one, everybody's no one to win it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only going to be picking on the senior grades, it's not going to be anybody at any of the lower grades, guys. That is us for tonight. So bring your feet together, left hand and right fist, and bow. Well done, guys. Good work. Mm -hmm.